Hi besties. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day today. We are back with another Timu, or as I like to call it, the Moo. Another Moo haul over here. The cats are down here playing and stuff, so you're probably going to hear them. Maybe they'll make a debut. Uh, so anyways, another huge random haul. There's all kind of things in this haul. Some things I absolutely don't like. Some things that are okay. Some things that are useful. Some some things that probably aren't. <laughs> Who knows, really? Okay, so let's just get right into this. I will always, as always, have the links down below in the description box. They will also be pinned in the comments section. I like to pin a comment at the top um, with a link to my cart. And I usually try and put one there for anyone on, in Australia, too, because I have a couple people from Australia that watch. So uh, I try and make a link for you, you guys down there. So I also have an affiliate code down there um, and a couple other links you can check out. And yeah, let's just get right into this. OK, let me put my spectacles on so I can see what the heck I'm doing. OK, so <laughs> I don't know why I continue to fall for this at Timu, but... I do. I I I I felt I fell for this again. So uh, these two signs, um, yeah. So I bought something similar to this before. Uh, <laughs> they aren't they aren't like super horrible. But anyways, this this one was seven sixty four. They're both seven sixty four. Um, so I bought in a few. Bought in? No, it's probably not a word. I bought a few of these before with different pictures in the center. One I had actually had a lip around it that, that was like 3D kind of looking, but obviously these are flat and made to look as though they have a border, but they don't. So it's super hard to tell when you're on Timu if there's an actual border there or not. Uh, so there's not, <laughs> obviously on this one. It's just a flat piece of wood. Not crazy about it. Do I like the print? Yes. But for $7.64, I'm going to be quite honest with you, I would probably paint this whole thing and just paint something else on here that I liked. Because I feel like the faux border makes it look really tacky. Not tacky, just cheap. And um, so yeah, I would probably just paint my own picture on this, to be quite honest with you. So yeah, not, 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 uh... Not the best, I you know. But again, it is what it is, you know? It's teaming for you. They also come with this little extra piece of, like, plywood here so you can, like, stand up. Not even plywood. I mean, what is this? Card? I don't even know what this is called. Some kind of board. Um, but you can also hang it up. This one, I like I said, I like the, the middle, so I don't know, like... I, I don't like that it's made to look like something that it isn't. Um, so I think, again, what I would do with these is probably um, paint this and put whatever I wanted on it. It would be really pretty with, like, a church painted on there or something like that or a farmhouse even. Um, yeah, so I'm not really sure. I'm not crazy about these. So, yeah, I fell for that before from Timu. I bought one that was like that before and... Like I said, the one I bought, it actually had the border around it. The other one didn't. And now this one, these two don't. It's so hard to tell from the picture and there wasn't like a review. So yeah, that sucks. Anyway, I got a couple more stickers for Brian. Uh, well, actually not all of them, but there are some other stickers in here. But I saw this one I thought was really cool. It was $1.59. It's got the fishing pole and the American flag on it. So thought that was really cool. I really like that. So $1.59 for that. And then this one is for me from moi. Um, it was $1.43. I hope you guys can see this because it's kind of, the paper's kind of, uh, kind of jacked up on it. But it's like this little cat. And she's made out of like floral. Do you know what I'm saying? I hope you can see it. I hope it's coming across on the page. But on the page. Not on the page. On the screen. But as you can see, she's like made out of, I, I love that. I, this would be so pretty on like my Bible cover or some type of book or something like that. I just thought it was really sweet, really cute for $1.43. Can't beat that. Okay, um, then I got this ring and I think I might have bought Favorites with Laura, one of these, only in pink when we did a swap. This one was $1.93. It's like a chain 
link kind of, uh, I need a pair of scissors. All right, here's my little cloud cutter. All right, it was $1.93. And there's no size on this. It's just a, you know, it, it'll size, I guess, adjustable, I guess you could say. So you can wear it on any ring finger you want, which I love. So really like it. I love the um, chain link kind of look. And it's like an enamel type of look as well. But they had this in all kind of different colors. So I really liked it, $1.93, really like that. Okay, next is this, I think this is more lash bonding glue. I'm always trying different lash bond glues. I usually use the same lashes that I get from Amazon, but I always try and find like different bond and seal because they can tend to be expensive. Um, so if I can get something for, you know, cheaper, I don't have a, I have a price on this. Oh yeah, it was $2.09, so. $2.09 for the bond and seal. I never use this seal. I find that it flakes off in my eyes, so I don't use it. But I do use the bond side. So bond and seal. Yeah, the, the bond is would be the glue. And then you can lock them in. But like I said, I don't I don't ever use that side ever. This is what the wand looks like. It's got a glue. It smells like glue. <laughs> and then the seal part is usually a clear liquid um i don't know like i said i just don't ever use it i don't know why it just it tends to flake so i don't like it so two dollars and nine cents for that we will try it out um also kind of trying out new eyelashes and stuff too okay and then i got this uh folding fan it was 9.33 i'm gonna see if i can hang this on the bed where brian sleeps because he's he's one of those guys that sleeps with the fan on all year all year round he has to have a fan blowing um whether it's on him near him around him you know whatever but i thought this would be nice to like because we have a a, a, a a fan in the bedroom now that just sits on the floor and it just takes up a lot of space but so you get this little thing to hang it up and i thought i could put this on like the headboard and then it could like blow down you know what i'm saying it's got a cord so you can plug it in now i don't know if this is rechargeable maybe it is but anywho, so it's got this thing on the back, so you just, you know, you can hang it, which I love, and then you just can, you know, use it any which way you want. You can it straight out or straight down or whatnot. Let's see, is there an on-off switch? Yeah, right here. Okay, so it, it charges. There's three speeds. So it's got three speeds to it. There's a little on-off switch right here. Honestly, I think it's just the noise that helps him sleep more than anything. So I think I'm going to hang this on the bed in there. And then you just recharge it. So you can take it on and off the bed and recharge it. Or, I mean, just leave it plugged in. Um, let's see where the plug is. Oh, it's at the top. Well, yeah, it is at the top. That kind of sucks. Because I was going to say, if it's at the bottom, you know, then you could leave it plugged in. But the fact that it's at the top is kind of weird. But like I said, you just, whenever it, whenever it, uh, you know, the battery goes dead, just take it off the wall and recharge it or whatever. So I don't know, 933 for this seems decent. I thought it would be kind of nice. Or I might put it by, I might just put it by me by the couch. So when I'm having a hot flash and I'm watching my Game of Thrones or my House of Dragons... Yeah, 9.33. So that's not a bad deal. It's like a rechargeable little fan. This would be great for work. Or, or, wait, wait for this. Take this to the beach with you. Take it outside while you're tanning. You're sitting by your little kitty pool. Yep. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I, I love. I love when things can be used for more than one thing. Okay, next are these bags. And I have several of these, so I'm going to show them, like, all at one time. So these were $2.48 each. But they have two bags in each one. So I all I got them all in like the uh, medium deep powder, or whatever that means, two pack, 248. So you get two of these like silk bags. I put all my hair accessories and stuff in these or wigs or hair pieces. So if you have any type of hair piece um, or wig or anything like that, buy these bags to put it in when you're not wearing them and then I stick these all in like another container but they're they're pretty good sized they're this size 
um, you know, could fit a wig or a hairpiece, and that way it'll make them last a lot longer. Um, just like your hair, really. I mean, you should really sleep on a silk pillowcase as well. But you get two for two forty eight. So I got a whole bunch because I have a ton of wigs. Um, so I, yeah, this is a wig too. I got this from Chelsea Smith Cosmetics. That's where I've been getting most of my wigs because I like this color. It's called Apricot. But, um, yeah, so buy those satin wi wigs, yeah, buy those satin bags if you have wigs or hair pieces like clips or anything to put, put them in those and then hide them away because that silk will keep them like shinier and knotted. They won't get as knotted up as if you're just like keeping it in your closet or something, you know? Okay. So here's a couple more stickers I got for Brian. This one was $1.59. Yes, he's, he's an angler. So, you know, we got the... This one's a catfish, um, so he'll like this one a lot. So it's just got the flag with a catfish. That one was $1.59. And then, so yesterday, or not yesterday, but my last haul, I got these, but they were in green. But I also found these in American flag. So grabbed a set of these, $1.19. I thought they were cool. Like, these would be cool just on a water bottle, too. Love those. So yeah, two stickers for $1.19. Not bad. And then this one I got for me, it was $1.59. It is just white, but it's got a baby cow, a mama cow, and the flag. And I am obsessed with cows. I love cows. We lived in a farmhouse before we moved into this house. And there was a farm with cows next door. And I literally obsessed over those cows, like, constantly. So, yeah. This one was $1.59. I need one of those stickers that says, I break for cows, cows and squirrels. Like, I will literally break. Okay. Next up are these, and I honestly thought this was a good deal. I bought these before only on Amazon for way more than $5.13. So you get two a two-pack of these. Um, I just use them for scrapers. I use them for scrapers and whatnot or whatever. But you, they give you, like, extra tops, too. So one end is a silicone end, and then the other end is a razor an actual razor so yeah but you get a set of two and then they give you extras so there's like one two three four four of each four razors and four silicone heads and then you get these i use these all the time to scrape paint off of things or scrape stickers off of something that i bought they're made really well i bought this exact same thing on amazon for like 10 bucks for like one so you get two for five thirteen. That's that's a deal, if you ask me. A deal. So yeah, I use these all the time for different things. So I, I like to keep them in my tool tool junk drawer. <laughs> so five thirteen for those. Thought they were cool. All right, next is this, and I'm not quite sure why I bought this because um, I have lighting in here, but I kind of wanted to try this. It's like a fill light instead of a ring light because I have a ring light here and then two fill lights, but I thought maybe I'll just put a fill light back there. So this is what it looks like, um, like that, and it was $12.39. I'm not going to take it out just because it's like in this package, but like here's an idea of what it looks like. So $12.39 for that. So if you're doing any type of filming or anything like that, or you take a lot of pictures at your house or your grandkids or whatnot, also, if, if you do, like, I, you guys, I know how expensive it is to take pictures of your kids or your grandkids or anything like that. Honestly, go on Timu. They have a bunch of, like, baby or kid, uh, what do I want to say, accessories for photographs, backdrops, um, you know, all kind of little things to, and like those fill lights that you, you could take professional pictures at your house of your grandkids or your kids, school pictures even, you know, I mean, I can't, I know that we pay a ton of money for our kids to get pictures taken at school, you know, which I, I mean, I'm sure they use the money for something good. I'm not saying that, but you know, it's just hard right now. Like there's, a, there's a lot of people who don't have the money for stuff like that. You know, get your kids outside, go down by the creek, you know, dress them up, take a couple lights with you, sit them on a rock. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I would love to be a photographer, you know, literally, I would love that. Okay, next is this. It looks like maybe a hand towel or something or a pillowcase, but it was $3.48. It must be a, a pillowcase because it's an 18 by 18. 
Um, I bought a lot of pillowcases from Timu. It, 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 they're here nor there, come and go, depends. You know, you get, you get what you pay for. This one kind of stinks, but it's very soft and it says grains. Sack day number four with the grain symbol and then it's got these like grain sack stripes. So it's very French country, very farmhousey. Um, it's very soft. Now the back is just white. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's kind of cute. I mean, it's okay. It's not, it's not horrible, but it's not extremely wonderful. But yeah, I don't know. I kind of like it. It looks, you know, distressed. Got that distressed fr French country kind of look to it. So $3.48 for that. And then, okay, I'm going to try and remember what this is for. I think I remember, but I'm not sure. I paid $4.84 for it. Y'all, I think it's a trivet. I can't remember, though. So it's got... Maybe not. I don't know. Okay. I don't... What? Is it a trivet? I assume. Like, you, you can... I'm assuming this is a trivet. I thought it was kind of cool because it like bunched up and then when you used it and you set your hot pot on it, it, it like branches out. I'm pretty sure it's a trivet. It doesn't really say. Oh my gosh, I'm going to feel so stupid. I feel so stupid because I can't remember. But I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I think you, you put it out on your countertop and use it as a trivet. I'm, I'm almost positive that's what I that's what I bought it for. But, but when you let go of it, it goes like this. It looks like a little campfire. <laughs> it does look like a campfire, though, does it? You could put a little candle under there and be like, you know, a little Halloween decoration. No, I don't know. But anyways, it was $4.84. I'm pretty sure it's a trivet. Um, that's what we're going with. That's what we're going with, okay? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, <laughs> next are these, like, cord catchers. I think I bought these before. They're a dollar ninety-seven for three. Or I don't know if, what you call them. I call them cord catchers, but... You can, like, put your, you know, phone cord. Well, not really your phone, unless you're, like, from 1980 or 90, like I am. Um, but they, this opens, and then you put your computer cord or whatever, and then you close it. And then they, it's got, like, I think, is there sticky stuff on the back of this or no? I thought maybe there was, but maybe not. Is there any other? Okay, does it have sticky stuff in here? Yes. There are little sticky tabs. So you put your sticky tab on the back, and I'm always, like, digging for my cords at my computer desk here when I work from home. Not, which doesn't happen very often, but, so you get three, and then you get the little sticky tabs, and you just stick your cords through there and shut it. And it's got, like, a magnetic closure, so, yeah, that's what they look like. Hopefully my cords will fit through there. They should. They look like they will. So I might get this set up tomorrow with my computer, so I think I'm going to work from home tomorrow. I just need a mental day, a mental break day, if you know what I mean. Okay, next are these. This is kind of weird, but here we are. Um, so these were $2.70, and you get two, I think. This is so strange, you guys. You guys are going to be like, Jen, what, why did you buy those? Okay, so <laughs> what is this? So you get all these finger condoms, right? Oh, Lord. I don't know if I'll use a condom. I'm I'm just going to wing it. But you take these and you, like, can, um, maybe you use the finger condom on your other finger. Like, if you're plucking pieces off of a, Brian must be running the laundry or something. You know, off of a plant, it'll cut, it'll cut it off. That makes sense. I don't know why you why you why you need these though. I don't know. Someone tell me. But they have all these in here and you get two of these. But yeah, these things are sharp. So they're just to like pull pieces of flowers off, you know, when you're out there. Why can't I think of the word whenever you do that? It's not plucking. It's not really weeding. It's like deadheading. Maybe that's the word I'm looking for. Deadhead. But yeah, two seventy for those, and I dropped something, but we'll we'll get that later. Okay, there's another set of these cord things, dollar ninety seven. I got two of those, and then let's see, this was seven thirty four for a set of nails. Oh my gosh, but these are really cute. Okay, seven thirty four. I always get them in a medium. These are cute. 
These are probably my most favorite set I've ever seen. Not even kidding. Not gonna lie. Oh, I love these. Yeah, they smell like glue. Check those out. How cute are those? They're like a white, but it's kind of like creamy. And then the flowers are pink. And then there's some green on there for the... They're cute. I love those. And then you get um, two wipes, some nail tabs, wet, remove excess dirt, remove excess dirt. <laughs> one's a wet wipe and one's a dry wipe. So like I said before, when you're doing nails, I put up in my community tab how I put nails on. And the first thing I do is buff just a little wee bit of like the front of my nail right here, like with my, with my nail file. Just to make it rough. You want to like rough it up so the glue has something to stick to. So I just take my nail file and just go like that just a little bit. And then I'll take these wipes and I'll wipe it all off. Because you want to get all the oils off your nails and you want to get all the extra gunk off your nails or anything that's on them. And then if you use the nail tabs, you just press them on. Sometimes you, it, I don't, I haven't been, but you can like run a hair dryer over it real quick to like just heat these up just a little wee bit. And then you press the nail down and you hold it for like 10 seconds. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Um, but yeah, these were $7.34. Now, when you take nails off, what I suggest you do is um, get like some warm water, soapy water with like maybe some Dawn or something in it and stick your hands in it and just let them sit in that hot, warm water with soap. If that doesn't get your nails off, put some... Uh, nail polish remover in there and soak them and that that will get them off okay next is these earrings these are really cute i think i bought laura a pair of these as well in pink but i got them in like this blue they're calling it lagoon they were a dollar 79 i think these are adorable we might try them on let's see what they look like while we're here so i have earrings in that i actually got from timu but they're they're, they're really pretty look at them okay so these are also from timu i bought several of these like little kind of teardrop earrings and i love them i think they're i think they're so stinking cute and these were in one of my previous hauls but they look like this you can get them in a bunch of different colors which i love okay so let's try one of these on if I can get it off here. Yep. Okay, so this is what it looks like. They kind of want to go like this. So it's going to hang like that, which I don't mind that, really, I guess. It matches this shirt, kind of. If I can find my... There we go. Let's get the back on. These are cute. These are really cute. Okay, so that's what they look like on. Like that. They match this shirt, though, kind of. You know what I mean? Don't they? But yeah, that's what that's how they hang. I like that they hang this way and not this way. I like these. I like them a lot. Really like those. Okay, move those out of the way. Okay, so again, those were $1.79 and this was the color Lagoon. And they had them in a bunch of different colors, so they're really pretty. All right, then I got this. It's a necklace, a gray pearl necklace for $3.38. I love jewelry. I am like, I, I always feel like you can never have enough jewelry, you know? This, sh this chain looks really short, though, which <sighs> I'm not really into, like, short chains, but this is really pretty. I love the chain, and it is so stinging pretty. Oh, wait, do you loosen it and tighten it? Oh, my gosh, that is the coolest thing. How do you... Okay, this is really cool. But first, let me show you this, because I really like the chain. Wait, let me take this ring off so it's not in the way. This is really pretty. For $338, look at that. Look how beautiful that is. But check this out, because the, the end here, you can open it, but there's a place right here. I don't know how I'm going to show this to you. Do you see this part right here? You can actually pull this through to shorten it. You know what I'm saying? How nifty is that? But I think this is I think this is really pretty for 338. I think that is amazing. Now I'm sure it's not a real pearl, but I love the little, you know, CZs on there. So pretty. Wow, I love that. Love 338 for that necklace. Okay. Next up is this. This is like a table runner for our dining room. 
Um, it's got some chickens on it. Uh, it was four thirty-five, and it is. Let's see if they have the length. It just says seventy-two inches long. I may even use this like outside if we have. I'm thinking about having like a little picnic or something here at the end of summer. So maybe I'll use it outside at the picnic because I don't. It's it's. How do I want it? So the backing feels like it won't move around, but it's very kind of stiff. You know what I mean? But I like the print. It is long. I like the print. There's the print. It's got like chickens and just uh, mainly chickens, really. And some like black and white. I don't know. It's okay. It's okay. I don't know. It's all right. It's all right. I mean, for four bucks. But yeah, this would be cool, like, outside on a table at a picnic, too, you know? Yeah, I really like it. I like it a lot. What movie is that in? I have no idea. I have no idea. Okay, next is a... I think this is either a t-shirt or a tank top. But it was... Well, let me get in here. Maybe I put it on the inside. Six ninety seven. I got it in a 4XL. I will try and leave a picture, if, if I can, of it on the model. But it says free bird. Free bird, yeah. It's a tank top. I would I like wearing these like under kimonos, like what I have on. But this is what it looks like. Cool. Dig it. 4XL. And it's kind of like stretchy and it kind of like flows out. So I actually really like this. Like how cool would this be with just like an, a little kimono moment and some like distressed jeans. Super cute. Love that. It feels really nice, too, so I'm not mad at that. Okay, so I got this in the mail today. I think this was, like, a local warehouse item, but I picked it out for as a free gift somehow. I don't know how, but I got it for free. And it's an LED makeup mirror with 64 LED beads, three color lights, dimmable, you know, charges and all that because when we go to Brian's mom and dad's I like to have extra lighting when I'm doing my makeup like I have a whole makeup room here so you know when we go away I don't have a whole makeup room <laughs> so I like to take something little like this you know it's it's very small and then you got a charger cord and let's see if it's charged up or anything at all um or maybe you just plug it in I don't know but so here's like a stand it's got a stand with it, however you want to stand it up. Opens up like this. Oh, see, it is charged up. So you've got like a 3X, a 7X mirror, and then it changes color as well. So you can do like, you know, different color, color kinds of lighting. Oh, and if you hold it, it gets lighter and lighter and lighter. Check that out. Or it dims. Oh, I love this. I love this. I'm sorry, but for free? For free? I don't know how much this is regularly, but it's really cute. And this is a great travel mirror. It does have some weight to it. I will say that, but yeah. Free? I'm going to put this in my little travel, travel bag. Actually, this would be good for work, too. You know, have a little makeup mirror at work. And then it comes with this charging cord. Heck yeah. But yeah, it was one of the items I picked for free. So I don't know if it was like a T-Moon Circle kind of thing. Or if I got like that buy. If you buy $40, you get three free items. I always fall for that. Okay, I got this to stir paint. with. I got it for free too. I'm pretty sure this was definitely a T-Moon Circle item. But you attach this to your drill. And then you can, like, it stirs paint. And, you know, we've been painting the deck and all kinds of different things over the summer. So, yeah, it's plastic. Nothing major there. It wasn't worth too much, so I'm glad I got it for free. I'll just say that. It's pr it'll probably break. And I'll, it's probably going to be one of those things I'll just throw away, to be honest with you. Okay, so this is kind of weird, but I bought this stained glass um, paper. Now, the reason I bought this stained glass paper was because I have a sunroof in my jeep now i was gonna put this stained glass paper on my sunroof um but here's the thing i traded my jeep in this week 
I traded my Jeep in for a Cadillac. I got a 2017. Yes, I went, I, I just got something older. Um, Cadillac XT5. It has a sunroof, but I, I probably won't use this. But I will use this on a win on windows, you know, like maybe in our bathroom or something. But I don't know. We'll have to see how it looks. So this was 528, and it's 19.7 inches by 35 inches. So it's not like huge. Oh, it's really pretty though, isn't it? I love that. I really like it. I think it would look really pretty with the light shining through. It looks better once you roll it out for sure. So that's what that looks like. I was going to use it for my sunroof and my Jeep, but we got rid of the Jeep. So I thought I was just getting too old for the Jeep. I'm in my, I said, I keep telling the girls at work or my friends that I'm in my cat mom, old lady, Cadillac mob boss era. You know, like this is the car I'm going to retire in, you know, so... I wanted something that was going to last a really long time, but this is really pretty, so I might use this in the bathroom. I really like this. For $5.28, yeah, it's really pretty. I like that. Okay, last but certainly not least, I got this for $8.07. It is a cleaning tool, a cleaning tool, um, car wash brush. Um, if I can get it open, let me use my cutter here. All right, this thing is like substantial like look at this look at this thing it's substantial i mean look at this i think i was maybe going to use this to wash windows outside as well but this is substantial does this come off yes so this comes off of here so you can wash it this black thing but um it also this goes on here and i i guess i could figure out how let me just push this up in here okay so it attached is right there and then it extends so you just kind of open these things up like that and it'll extend so I like that that is really cool eight bucks eight bucks for this I almost pinched my finger eight dollars for that and I'm, I'm guessing you know you can wash this as much as you want or I would like to actually have an extra one of these so I might see if Timu has any extra heads for this but yeah, I like that. Really cool for like a car wash or yeah, I was probably going to wash windows outside, honestly, but 807 and then I don't know what it's showing something right here, but I don't know what it does. It says like turn. I don't know what why you turn this. I have no idea. Maybe it tightens this up so it doesn't move or something. I don't know. But anyway, eight dollars and seven cents for this. I thought it was, I mean, this thing is substantial. Look at that. Like, it's even got this nice grip. It's really nice. I'm obsessed with, like, cleaning tools or cleaning anything. <laughs> cleaning products, hand soap, all kinds of things. You know what I truly, truly love is on Amazon, they have, like, this vinegar gel cleaner that you can put in your sink and like oh i love it and then use like a scrubber scrub with it like a scrub uh i don't even know what i want to call it it's some kind of scrub stuff like a powder powder stuff i don't even know what it's called anyway enough talking but it, that was the last item so i hope that you enjoyed my haul thank you so much for watching if you like timu hauls please subscribe, click like, share my video, whatever you would like to do. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much for all of your comments, your kind comments, um, and your support. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!